Hello folks, this is Freddy Avalos and this is Traveling with Freddy. It's a pleasure for me to have the chance to talk about the Inca Trail. I am sure that some of you will appreciate a lot or all of you. Okay, so I'm a professional tour guide. I'm a tour leader, program director, travel director, expedition leader, tour leader. So and all these kind of names I use when I go with different groups traveling all over the country. I'm specialized going to the Amazon cruise river ships or Machu Picchu or the coast in Peru. Okay, this is Traveling with Freddy. This is El Camino Inca, Inca Trail, day one. So this is a chart showing you more or less the elevations in Inca Trail. You are gonna get maps like this and usually where you start is at uh, in Piscacucho, kilometer 82, that is at uh, 2,500 meters above sea level, more or less. And then the other place where you arrive, where it's gonna be the first campsite is in Huayabamba or Yuncachimpa. The elevation is around 3,000 meters above sea level. So the second day, you climb all the way up, 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 up to the highest pass that is called Dead Woman Pass, Warmi Wanyuska. This is at 4,200 meters, or some other maps shows like 4,250 meters above sea level. Okay, so and then you go down, and for me, Pacaymayo is one of my favorite camps. I love that camp. Even when there are a lot of ghost stories there, I love the place because I love the sound of the water. That is the clean water running down from a lake that's above, and then is that's make very special. And that's a microclimate right there with a very nice and primary, primary forest right there. And then the next day, the day number three, is when you climb up again to the second pass, it's called Runkurakai. There are some ruins right there, small ones, very interesting, and from the pass, so you have another perspective, another type of vegetation. Actually, the day number, the first day, you have what we call dry tropical forest, the second day, it's more between the grasslands and what we call cloud forest. And then the day number three and four is cloud forest entirely. So when you arrive to the second pass, so Kurakai is 3,850 meters above sea level. And then you go down again, and then you go to Puyo Patamarca, where is my favorite camp. That, that campsite for me, it's really special, but up to you. So what you're gonna do, what are your plans, uh, what it's in, in you. But in my personal experience, being a tour guide for 25 years, so that is a camp that you should do, okay? So, and then uh, the sun gate is called Intipunku, that is 2,700 meters, and Machu Picchu is at 2,400 meters above sea level. Okay, so you can see also, you have to consider something, how cold or hot is to prepare. In another video, I will recommend what to wear, what to take and all of that, because you need to prepare, you need to plan well, because this trip can be the unforgettable trip. This can be the best trip in your life or can be the other unforgettable trip. So it's like that, okay? Not because you're pretty young and you can support and you're superman, you're super strong and things like that. So it doesn't mean that you're not gonna have a good time. Prepare, take care and in, follow my channel and I will give you all the tips you should know to have a really good time. Prepare. The porters in Inca Trail are heroes for me because thanks to them, everything is possible. They carry the propane tank gas, they carry the stuff, they carry the, the, the food equipment, everything they carry. It depends. If you pay $500 with the cheapest, lowest price uh, tour operators, you carry on your own everything, and their salary for them is not really good neither, and they carry more, and things like that. So if you just add something like seven, eight hundred dollars so it's just right, it's like 300 more dollars, something like that, but it is in four days. So I don't know, for me, that can be some tour purchase can give you some guarantee. You can ask me, you can contact me and say, Freddy, can you give me some more insights, some tips? Can you recommend to which company to go? 
will be more than a pleasure for me to help you and to assist okay i can give you the directions you click the link below and i will help you okay and this is the entrance of the inca trail this is the picture classical picture everybody the picture here says welcome to the inca trail and that's the line to show the passports you need to have your passports you forgot your passport in the hotel forget you are not gonna pass everything has to be checked and packed the day before to be ready and then when you pass the bridge you go on the first day is dirty i recommend to wear pants mainly because it is very windy uh, the tour guides give you all the recommendations one of the recommendations for example is to don't stop on the cliff if people is passing by if they are gonna be especially porches with the white bags passing by so stay on the mountainside because if you are on the cliff side and a porter is carrying something heavy and there's somebody else on the other side the porter will try to pass between both of you and if you're on the cliff side that can be the last goodbye okay just be careful and uh, well there are there's in the first day you will see this house for sure thatch roof one room house the way how the incas live actually the door is very much the same and you see the dogs don't feed the dogs please if you love animals if you really love dogs don't feed them and the reason is simple because the dog will follow you in the whole way to Machu Picchu and what do you think the city hall of Machu Picchu will do with the dogs with so many dogs fighting with the local dogs and uh, you know maybe some disease or maybe the danger to buy children in the uh, in the Machu Picchu town so think about so don't feed the dogs don't make them follow you okay doesn't matter how much you're gonna follow them if you give them some food they're gonna follow you they will find you for sure okay so there are porters you can see how big the bags are this is an option in the first place that you're gonna rest the tour guide will says okay who wants to go to the lowest part to have this view or sometimes you have a lunch rider and you don't have choices but if you have choice to go to the top to climb and to see the overview of these ruins do it this is kind of view and actually for me it's not it's, it's even better to see this way it's beautiful it's spectacular this was a storehouse complex during Inca times it's called Patayacta and you can see that was a ceremonial part of this and uh, for some people actually this is like a snake can you see the the terraces goes like this like a snake and actually this section looks like the eyes is this the imagination of whatever the people have nobody can tell you for sure a hundred percent what really happened that doesn't mean neither that we are gonna give you any kind of information of course not okay and actually from where this picture is taken there is another complex of ruins that probably were for religious purposes or not so it's lot a lot of information and then as i says don't wear shorts because if it's windy the dust will go on your legs and then where you're gonna take showers they are not showers so it's only the cold water from the stream that is glacier water running through so but i don't think that when you're gonna go to sleep you wanna uh, wash your legs right there it's impossible so in that way my recommendation wear pants especially the first day or the first two days okay so the way this is the campsite in Wayabamba is the first camp it's important the company you go with so to have a good tent the tent is like the think about it's the place where you're gonna sleep what happened if it's a heavy rain and your tent get wet your clothes get wet your sleeping bag get wet that's gonna be a nightmare so think about about if you're gonna get the lowest price tours or if you add a little bit more money the prices are for all kind there are tours that are twenty five hundred dollars for the inca trail okay so take a look this is if rain so you need to be prepared the ponchos if your backpacks don't have a cover so wear those plastic ponchos they sell everywhere in cusco and also close to the inca trail okay so when you are going up so the porch is taking everything even the garbage nothing can be left behind this kind of pictures that you can take so other one this is a pristine rainforest it is special for me that's still pristine forest because a lot of uh, for uh, fires 
uh, burn the forest and all of that. And there are some fauna that is the uh, Scarlet Belly Mountain Tanner here, the Andean Guan, that is the wild uh, kind of wild turkey, the Andean Rodents, and this cacha Lagirium peruanum is not a chinchilla, be careful. And the deer right here down here is the North Andean deer, Andean, like Andes, deer, and this is the bird, is a Sara's spine tail, and the red ramped bush tyrant. And flowers also, beautiful flowers. It's a red bromeliad, it's a begonia, it's a native begonia from Machu Picchu, it's begonia betkiana, these orchids, special, beautiful orchids, called Stellis, uh, Stellis orchid, okay, so Stellis rubens, and then this is the Passifloras, the Irsutas, and this is the Bomarea sanguinea, beautiful. And this is the Keunias, Polylepis, Escalonias, Erythrinas, so it's special. And right here where the gorms are trying to do some reforestation because the native vegetation were burned for centuries. All these mountains were burned, that's very sad. And this is the Inca Trail to go up. Remember the second day, it's all the way up, 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 and it's almost uh, the top. And for some people, the reason why is the dead woman pass is because if you see the hill here, it looks like a breast. For some other people, from a different angle, actually around here looks like a woman is resting from the other side, it looks better. Okay, and this is the pass. This is the highest pass, which is where everybody celebrates. This is the most challenging day, and after that is the way down. And down here is where is my favorite, one of my favorite camps, Pacaymayo. And the next day, the trail you can see passing through Runcuracay, some ruins, and the pass over here, and after that. So this mountain marks the between the two sides. The, this is in this picture is the eastern side of the Eastern Andes and the other picture is the western side of the Eastern Andes. The Inca Trail is on the eastern range of the Andes because there are three ranges or two ranges, but the eastern range is the mountains right before the rainforest because this way going down all the way is going to the Amazon rainforest where the Amazon River is. Okay, so on the way down you can see this is a kind of grasslands, Stipa Ichu is the Latin name for this type of grass that was used to thatch the roof during Inca times. And there are some bromeliads also. So, can you say Ichu? Just repeat, Ichu. Bless you. Okay, so in that way, look at the lady here. She is properly with the equipment she has to wear. It's good, good shoes, good pants jacket, gloves, good backpack, cover, and walking sticks. That's the way, okay? I will talk in another video what is important, okay? To make enjoyable. And this is a lady enjoying, that was a beautiful day. You can see the bromeliads in one side, ferns, so the trinas, um, bromeliads, and this is the campsite Pacaymayo, very special for me, even with a lot of ghost stories, but it's one of my favorites. And this is the day number three, Orchids on the way, there are more native vegetations, beautiful, and also chances to see the spectacle bear. In, in my whole life, I saw like three, four times the bears. This is not very common, but if you see them, very special. So you can see between the camp of the second day to the last day, even close to Machu Picchu. And this is going up to those ruins, uh, Runkurokai, very special for me, related to the astronomy, to the dead woman past, to the lake with the waterfall, for rituals, ceremonies, sacrifices, who knows? For me, this has the shape of, of a ceremonial knife called Tumi, T-U-M-I, look in the internet. And I think probably there were some animal sacrifice offering to the gods, who knows? And if you go off-road, tell to your guide where you are going. You never go on your own. Tell them, okay? So in that way, they will let you know until how far you can go and you can enjoy. Let's make enjoyable trip. And this is the pass behind these people. Is the dead woman pass, the highest pass. This is the Runkurakai pass. And this is the other side view. From here going down, 
and this is the glaciers range called Vilcabamba range Pampas grass right there so you can see there are some scalonias on the way to the ruins of Sayak Marca my recommendation is after the first pass after the second pass so if you are talking with your friends you have a good conversation if you really want to have a special moment just be quiet after these passes because the beautiful landscape is remarkable it's beautiful if you really would like to have a special moment something to remember the conversation you can finish at night but if you really want to have a special moment think about to make a distance between other people to don't disturb your special moment right there because they are beautiful views and then this is the ruins of Sayak Marca it is like a balcony on a rock formation the Incas were amazing engineers you can leave your bags down and you can climb those steps and to get pictures like this your tour guide is gonna let you know what was or sometimes they just explain for 5-10 minutes and then give you 20 times that you really will appreciate to have some free time right there and then you continue and you pass through Conchamarca this was a checkpoint during Inca times if you, when you get closer to Machu Picchu you have more control and there were more checkpoints and this forest is also pristine forest it's special for me there are ferns, erythrines, polylepis, bromeliads orchids, moss, it's just spectacular for me this section between Sayakimarca and Puyu Patamarca it's special when I have my groups I used to tell them you will never get lost here just go with careful and on your pace and I will meet you on the camp and I was telling them just to be in a quiet to hear the nature the birds and then to meditate or to think where they are to enjoy the place because this is a special section and also to pass through the cave this is a view like this it is amazing the view and this is Vilcabamba Valley it is right before the camp it's beautiful and this is the camp this is my favorite because why it's cold yes but if you have your special gears it's fine okay and from here the sunsets and sunrises are really special the sunrise and moonrise and sunsets or moonsets are special a special place for constellations if you like constellation if it's clear sky if you're lucky enough it's beautiful special if you like birds it's the Andean snipe that pass over over the camp sometimes and sounds like a plane <sighs> So it's really really nice this is really special this is very cool but important is the equipment what type of tents do you use ask to your operator ask to your tour guide what kind of tents do you use okay it's important to know yeah the difference between good equipment or so-so equipment okay and the porters the porters are huge it's amazing what they do uh, from home you can bring a t-shirt instead to give them more money the tips is is expected okay they do a lot of work and follow the tips the guidelines on your recommendations but besides that I'm sure do you will will want to give them something sometimes happen when clients were giving them boots because they were sandals they were not using the boots because they don't used to but they really appreciate sweaters, scarf, gloves, or t-shirts, especially t-shirts, jackets, or hats. That's what really they this is special for them. Okay, and the tour guide showing you that is south of Machu Picchu. The mountain is called Salcantay, very special. Exactly, exactly south from Machu Picchu ruins. It's amazing. It's amazing. You can have. A, um, breakfast the table outside the tent with this view it's cold but a special view it is just amazing so just make your trip special yeah so it's like this this is the sunset almost the time for dinner the next day they were going to have so you can propose here yes or in Machu Picchu so depends depends you don't know how it's gonna be the next day in Machu Picchu if it's like this do it 
okay and the next day going down this is Puyo Patamarca the town in the clouds so on the way down this day we climbed down 2500 steps more or less this is a special place I love this is one of my favorite and also the vegetation is very steep of course you go with careful you can hold on the rock sometimes and use the walking stick in one side if you go on the to, to wearing the or using the two walking sticks sideways zigzagging their ways how you can be completely safe okay so you can see they are going sideways because it's very steep even if rain don't worry you never stop in the shine a smooth rocks never always on ragged rocks always always and good shoes that's why it's important the equipment so you can see so my oldest client was 79 so think about okay that's another special picture you can make teamwork you can make somebody wait up there and hold everybody to don't ruin the picture and then share between you the picture and then also you can see from the trail this beautiful ruins called Winyaywaina that's very nice very remarkable and this is in the Pata. it's beautiful this is a must you, the tour guide sometimes give you the chance you can go to Intipata, you can go down straight to Winyaywaina do it this one, you will really appreciate you are tired, you are exhausted just put yourself a little bit and you will really appreciate because it's not a chance to go back in the time and say I should do that, don't do it okay, so this is the nice view this is Winyaywaina, some groups they do the last camp here to go very early to Machu Picchu at 3 in the morning to see the sunrise this is only 10% of the days in the whole year that Machu Picchu will have a clear sky sunrise because this is cloud forest, it's gonna be early in the morning, most of the time cloudy okay and you need to wait for the sunrise so Winyaywaina so, you must go and explore this is a must you cannot miss that the upper part then the terraces at the end of these semicircular terraces you can see these uh, these uh, structures so these are water fountains the water running through here through here through here to feed and to provide water to the population who are living here they were very important whoever lived on this place were really really important family of the king maybe okay so this is the second largest complex after Machu Picchu in the national park and it is beautiful you must in the past I was able to go with my groups at night that was amazing unfortunately not anymore uh, anywhere between the second camp Mayo to Machu Picchu you can see the bear it is unpredictable world and when you continue to the sand gate to see Machu Picchu so there is a place that was doing in the times a lookout so these steps are very steep and you need to climb using your hands so that was amazing this is really cool and then after 10 minutes 15 minutes you arrive to Intipunku and it's from here where you have the first view of Machu Picchu this is a special this is really special so but if you wake up at 3 in the morning to be able to be here by 6 or 7 because possibly you see the sunrise be patient because maybe it's gonna be cloudy you don't see anything okay so it's only 10% of the year okay so because if you read the documentation it's like that but if you want to believe on the guidebooks and you wanna do this it's up to you and you wanna take the risk and do it just do it okay and when you arrive there is the first view of Machu Picchu when I used to go with my groups we were right there by 3, uh, three 2 3 in the afternoon and we had the clear sky nobody there we were only us watching down Machu Picchu enjoying for 20 30 minutes people crying and all of that very emotional and then after that we were walking down to Machu Picchu yeah or like this when it's early in the morning and people want to see this picture more or less is like around 8.30 or something like that so 8, 8.30 so when people were waiting probably from 6 they were waiting from 6.30 or something like that so but anyway as I says this can be a special for you also maybe you were sad and you were not seen and everything was overcast and suddenly the sun cleared everything up the wind and it's a special for you 
be patient, okay? The key is to enjoy. Whatever you're gonna do, enjoy it, okay? And this is on the way down. You can take pictures like this. That is your reward, Machu Picchu. Spend two days. So if you arrive, just make something smart. You would like to climb that mountain you see in the picture. It's called Huayna Picchu. You have to book this hike months ago and stay one night in, in Aguas Calientes, even if you do the tour the day with your tour guide of the Inca Trail in Machu Picchu the day you arrive, if you arrive early in the morning, because when I used to arrive with my groups, we were visiting this next day. But if you are doing the early morning and that day you're gonna visit Machu Picchu, even that, think about and go Stay in Aguascalientes, relax, enjoy it. It's gonna be the same cost that you're gonna spend in Cusco or in Machu Picchu. And the next day you have another chance, just in case. Maybe when you arrive, rains. And maybe rains a lot, I don't know. So you can have another chance the next day. Think about that that is your trip. Maybe the main reason why you're here is Machu Picchu. Just do it, okay? And to have a special day like this. This is one of the inside the 10 percent of days with a clear sky in the sunrise in Machu Picchu and well this is a uh, how beautiful is the Inca Trail thank you so much for your time I hope that you enjoyed uh, it is, I have a lot of good memories here if you would like more information contact me it's the link below and it's gonna be a pleasure for me to assist you okay thank you so much and bye bye